this fight will be judged as are all, all of them are judged by three judges on my system. They'll be uh, giving 10 points to the fighter who scores the winning round. 10 ounce glove introduction, but with no doubt loved one just the same. I like him. He's understated. Understated. Yes. Gregory Hines, one of the finest dancers that John revealing to me tonight for the first time that I did not know Gregory Hines was a martial artist. Oh, yeah, he's a black belt, and he used to compete in tournaments back when he was a young man, very young man, back I remember, in New York. I remember Hines, Hines, and Dad. What a great act that was. Unbelievable. Of course, uh, well-known boxer Alex Garcia, who bears a striking resemblance to Dennis Alexio. <laughs> R.T. Anderson, who will be prune-faced, they say, at the, <laughs> the upcoming Dick Tracy movie. I'm kind of anxious to see that, Madonna and Warren Beatty. September, Mr. Chuck Norris. And, of course, Chuck Norris, a guy that everybody knows. He's a great friend of kickboxing. He's a movie star and, a, and an excellent fighter in his day, too. No doubt about it. Chuck Norris was the number one fighter of his era. Please welcome Charlie Sheen. And, of course, from Wall Street, uh, Charlie Sheen. Uh, excellent, excellent. In the red corner, all the way from Warsaw, Poland, now living in Chicago, Illinois, undefeated in 23 professional bouts, 14 big wins by knockout at 170, Marek Petrowski. Correction, the bout is 11 rounds. All right, I, you want to come up? I just want to remind you, in case of a knockdown, go to a neutral corner. Obey my commands at all times. Keep your hands up and protect yourself. Any questions? Good fight. Take a look at the tail of the tape there. Marek Petrowski, 23-0, 14 KOs. He's 25, 6 feet tall, has the reach advantage there. He's 170 pounds. Bob Thurman, a very impressive 34-4 with 26 KOs, 29 years old. He's a little bit shorter. He says 5'11", he probably has to stretch a little. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, referee Cecil Peoples has his hands full on this one because he's going to be breaking these two guys up all night. And he's going to have to watch he doesn't get hit because these guys don't ever stop swinging. Well, Bob Thurman doesn't know how to fight, but in one direction. He comes straight at you the whole time. He's always there. Petrowski has been, uh, his reputation is one of uh, being a very, very active, busy fighter in tremendous physical condition. He can set a fast pace and keep doing it for the entire time of the fight. Round one, the Intercontinental Heavyweight, a uh, light heavyweight championship. Marek Petrowski from Poland, living now in Chicago in the red. Bob Thunder Thurman, the black, and we are off here in the Hollywood Palladium. Joe Koffenberg, Jet Center Productions, bringing you this world-class championship kickboxing main event, and it should be a dandy. Once again, for those of you joining us late, the young man in the red has beaten both Rick Rufus and Don the Dragon Wilson. That is not something to take lightly. A good right hand there by Piotrowski. Staggered Thurman just a little bit, but it's going to take more than that to put Thurman away. I guess Petrowski, the bigger of the two, John. Well, he's, he's a couple of inches taller. They weighed in exactly 170 each. Petrowski tells me he likes to fight about 175, that he feels a little bit weaker at 170 pounds. It's a little harder for him to get down to this. And again, Thunder Thurman, a guy who has been in some wars in his life. Merrick Piotrowski, at this point, probably not as weathered a fighter as Petrowski as we enter under one minute here in this first of a scheduled 11 rounds. You know, Thurman had a couple of tough fights with Johnny Terrio. They lost the, the Canadian champion, who's maybe the, the sport's greatest fighter. And uh, he's come back, though. He fought in a 15-rounder against Mike Winklejohn, who's an excellent fighter himself. He won a decision, and that was about uh, three months ago. So he's fought fairly recently, but this is definitely a comeback for Bob Thurman. Good left hand inside by Thurman as we go under 30 seconds in the first round. Another left by Thurman. 
And again, Thurman, probably his biggest concern here, John, would you say, is that he might cut in this fight? He has had a problem with cuts so far. Petrosky has not cut. Uh, but I think that Thurman's going to have to just see if, if he still has it. You know, he, he had, took a lot of punishment in uh, the fights that he had with Terrio and with John Mikhail. We have to see if he is back. We'll be back after this. With Palladium, Dan Walker, along with John Worley. Round two, scheduled 11, Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Marek Piotrowski in the red. Bob Thunder Thurman in the black. And these guys are not letting a whole lot of air between the two of them, are they, John? No, they're right here. They're, you know, there's not a lot of slick fighting there. Both of these guys are very basic fighters. They come straight in. Good right hand there, Piotrowski. You will hear the crowd react to almost everything Piotrowski does. A good right hand there into the low ribs. Uh, because there is a large Polish contingent directly behind our broadcast position. John, how did you have that first round score? I gave the first round 10-9 to Petrosky. He landed a couple of good strong right hands that seemed to have caused some problems for uh, Thurman. But so far, Petrosky looks a little tight to me, especially in the first round. He's loosening up a little bit this round, but Thurman is, is not unlike what I have seen from him in the past. He's very controlled. He just keeps coming straight ahead, throwing punches. Thurman is a guy who will take a whipping for you, so Petrowski, if he is thinking this is an early night for him, is probably mistaken as we move under a minute here in round two, scheduled 11. Joe Koffenberg, Jet Center Productions, bringing you this fight. Good underneath. Spinning back this there, just landed on the gloves. Thurman does a good job of keeping those hands up. He's got great training from Dave Kennedy and his, box, his boxing skills, and then Steve Mackey, out of the uh, Kansas City area has worked with, with him all the time through his whole, whole career on his squad training. As we move under 30 seconds, you can hear the cheers going up behind us. Marek, Marek, Marek. He is a very popular fighter with the Polish contingent here in Los Angeles. Several people following him from Chicago for this fight. And again, a left hand and a right there, but neither of them really doing much damage. We move under 10 seconds here in round number two. We will be back with round number three after this. round number three, a scheduled 11 round Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship fight. Marek Piotrowski in the red, Bob Thunder Thurman in the black, and John through two rounds, how do you have it scored? I've got Marek Piotrowski up by one point, 20 to 19 unofficially here. It's a, it's a fairly close fight at this point. Piotrowski's moving a little bit more than a, he's not moving in and throwing as much punching as, as I expected he would. Truth of the matter is, uh, neither one of these fighters has done any real damage to this point. Uh, Petrowski uh, has landed a couple, so has Thurman. There was an overhand right there by Petrowski that landed, but really didn't do any damage. Well, this is really, though, you know, Bob Thurman's type of fighting style. He's, he's methodical. He just keeps moving in. He just stalks and stalks and throws and throws and wears people down. But the story on Petrowski is that he cannot be worn down as he lands a strong right hand. And again, you know, one of the things that strikes me about Petrowski, John, is that uh, he has some fairly serious defensive skills here. He's moving fairly well side to side, which seems to be giving Thurman a little trouble. Thurman's not really cutting the ring off as well as I would expect. You know, Petrowski's able to keep Thurman from doing that. Thurman, Petrowski told me he was so impressed with Ricky Rubis's uh, footwork that he maybe has studied those tapes and gone back and tried to emulate a little bit of the ruthless footwork. Again, you hear the uh, the uh, Petrowski fans in the back of us uh, reacting, but in truth, uh, not really any damage done by any of those things by Petrowski. And again, as we move under 30 seconds here in round three, that's a good straight left hand into Thurman's face, but again, it will take more than that. And that kick cheered, but blocked. And you hear the cheer of Marek go as we toss to a break, we'll be back with round four after this. It ship Marek Petrowski in red, Bob Thurman in black. Dan Walker along with John Worley, round four, scheduled 11. And these two guys are hitters, both of them. You will hear the contingent of fans for the Polish Prince Petrowski directly behind us. Good right hand over the top, Thurman is down. It was just a good flash right hand. Thurman took it. He is up and bouncing, but he is not as steady on his feet as he might be. Bob Thurman, a good right hand, John. It was a perfect short right hand there by Merrick. 
It looks like, I was going to say, they've really opened up this round. They came out throwing a lot more stuff in this fourth round. It looked like Furman was trying to pick up the pace, and he walked right into the right hand. And again, Petrowski now trying to pursue this advantage. Thurman covering well. And this is the kind of thing where Thurman can be a problem for you if you get too careless. Thurman is not hurt that bad here in round four, schedule 11. Well, Thurman's a very experienced fighter. He's a guy that has come back from knockdowns. He almost was knocked out against Emilio Narvez early in his career. Got up off the canvas to finish and win the fight. I remember that one. We got less than a minute here in round four that Bob Thurman has to survive, and he appears that he will do exactly that. It was a good right hand, and it will score well for Petrowski. Nevertheless, it will still take more. Petrowski feels like I think that he has lost. Oh, no. Whoa, good right, right, right hand man. onto the forehead of Bob Thurman. He sags to his knees. He is back up. Cecil Peoples picks up the count at six, and Thurman looks a little dazed. We've got 20 seconds left in this round, and Cecil Peoples is looking very clearly into the eyes of Bob Thurman, who has to weather 16 seconds here. Thurman is covering up. Thurman trying to get his bearings and his legs underneath him as we are down, and Thurman is hit again, and he is hurt. He's got to weather just a few more seconds. Bob Thurman, and there is the bell as Thurman is hit, and he is staggered, not entirely sure where he is. You can see them jumping into the ring to bring him back to his corner, and John, this is going to be trouble. I said, or actually I was starting to say, it looked to me like that Merrick had lost the uh, opportunity to finish Thurman after that first knockdown, and that's the moment that he landed another right hand, and it was amazing that Thurman was able to hang on. Well, you know, John, that's a right hand on the forehead. You don't usually see a guy go down from that shot. It was a... We're going to take a look at this first knockdown. It's just a good short right hand. Thurman stepping in. He takes it right on the side of the head, and down he goes. As we mentioned, Thurman has had three really tough fights in the last few years, and I think those fights have taken a lot out of him. As we see the second right hand, once again, right up high on the side of the head, almost like on the temple area. And Thurman just sinking to his knees right there, and clearly he was stunned by that shot. As we move now into round five, they're over there talking to Thurman, and he appears... Well, he appears to be okay. You know, he's uh, obviously the worst for wear, but he at least appears alert. And he uh, is puffy under his right eye, John. He's been catching a lot of jabs under that right eye. Merrick uh, Petrowski coming out right away and trying to go ahead and press this advantage. I'm sure he's going to try to finish Thurman this round. He is definitely a closer. Well, for any of you fans out there who thought Petrowski was not for real after beating Thurman and Wilson, or excuse me, after beating Rufus and Wilson, you can see that he is. The right hand from Petrowski is landing, and now Thurman is landing back with some of his own. But they seem to lack a little steam, John. They really don't. I mean, Thurman doesn't have much zip on those punches. He's never been a real explosive puncher. He's a guy that wears people down, but obviously Mark Petrowski is nowhere close to being worn down as he's just waving in trying to land that right hand again up high on the head. And it is working, too, because Thurman once again stays and now takes one into the ribs, and he is hurt into the belly, and Bob Thurman is in some trouble here. He is in some trouble, and he is down again. Cecil Peoples taking Petrowski to the corner and puts him in his own corner by mistake. Bob Thurman is still down. The count is seven. And again, Thurman is up, and he says he wants to fight. He says he's okay. Cecil Peoples obviously confused in this situation. Thurman, a, a warrior, he's, he's, got no, he's got no lack of heart. He wants, to, he wants to fight, but he really is just taking terrible shots to the body now. Two more shots to the body and three, and Thurman is hurt. He's saying, come on, come on, let's fight. Thurman is game, but he's got to weather more than 30 seconds left here, and he is in some trouble. Mark Kratowski, to his credit, is taking his time. He's not rushing in and doing silly. What you're seeing Kratowski do is show a little cold streak. He knows that Thurman's got that shot to the body that hurt him, and he's going out and just landing and landing and landing on the body. Under 20 seconds here in round five. And again, Mark Petrowski, you hear the chant going up behind us from the Polish contingent as they are very proud of him. Thurman looks like he will weather this round, but he has been hurt again, John. Again, two very devastating body shots. Thurman comes back with two lefts with nothing on him, John, nothing on him. Thurman again looking as if he is not quite positive where his corner is. Bob Thurman took a tremendous beating in the last three rounds, really. He's He's just hanging on, and you're right when he throws a punch. He throws because he's, he, want, he knows he's supposed to, but there's nothing on those punches. 
I think right now Petroska could stand there and take a full shot right in the face and it wouldn't really affect him. You know, the question you have to ask yourself right now is how much longer are they going to let this fight go on if the tide doesn't turn here fairly shortly as we can now see the doctor making his way toward Bob Thurman's corner. As we look into Thurman's corner, they're trying to get his head straight and the doctor is getting ready to come up the stairs and take a look at Bob Thurman. He does not like what he has seen. Well, Steve Mackey and, and Dave Kennedy are two of the best in the business. Dave Kennedy is definitely going to take care of Bob Thurman. You see the doctor looking in there as we go to a replay. We're going to take a look at this kick to the ribs. He just digs a round kick, a front kick, right up there, the ball of the foot, not the top of the foot, ball of the foot, really digs into the lower ribs, and that just takes it out of you. Round number six here, and Bob Thurman up again and wants to fight again. Marek Piotrowski, as you say, he has time on his side. Thurman will never quit, and he takes another shot. And again, the earlier Thurman gets hurt in each successive round, the harder it's going to be for him to weather the storm. Well, Thurman at this stage <clears throat> really can't win a decision. I mean, it, would be, it would be amazing if he can't. He's going to have to score a knockout. I've got, him, I've got him down by seven points after only five rounds. Well, it's amazing. Thurman is in there, and he is throwing. And Piotrowski, while he is not hurt, definitely felt that. But, but, but Thurman does not have the power on his punches that he normally has. The crowd getting excited as we see Thurman stage a little rally here. That was not a knockdown. Yeah, the crowd thought it was a knockdown, but it's not. He just slipped. Good call there by Cecil People. And it is Thurman who is the aggressor here in round six, and under a minute we go. Thurman, again, as game as you will ever find in a fighter. That shot there mostly taken on the gloves by Thurman. Petrosky probably got a little bit uh, careless there in, that, in the round. And okay, Thurman lands a, a low blow. And an unintentional low blow. Thurman is a guy who likes to throw that hook. And that one just went under. Thurman, uh, we've seen a lot Thurman. of times, not a dirty fighter. No, no, not at all. Shape or form. And the referee will give Petrosky as much time as he needs. They are back to it now. Good left hand there by Petrowski. Under 30 seconds in this round. Round number six, scheduled 11. Thurman takes a couple, but not a lot on him. Good shot to the ribs there. Thurman fighting, and Thurman may be winning this round. And Thurman's Thurman best round. Absolutely, Thurman's best round. I don't know where he's getting this, because I thought he was completely done, and now he's having a good round. We are under 10 seconds here as Bob Thurman has his best round. Takes a right hand. Takes a right hand. We'll be back after this. Had good success was right there that staggered Bob Thurman, but he wasn't able to put it down as we're back to action here. Round number seven, Bob Thurman in the black, Barak Piotrowski in the red. This is the Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship match. And at this point in time, John, you'd have to say that Mark Piotrowski is in total control here as once again he is landing on Thurman early in this fight and he is getting underneath on Thurman into those short ribs. Well, he keeps working on that body. Thurman is, is really, to his credit, has managed to weather the storm and has come back. I actually gave him a 10-9 advantage in the sixth round. I had him winning that round. And again, that'll be the first round, I would guess, that Thurman, you could say Thurman won in this fight as he has been down two or three times. I've lost track, to tell you, the two, three that I can think of. Hey, three, to, yeah, once in the, uh, once in the, twice in the fourth round and once in the fifth. And again, Petrowski is landing. That is a fall. It is not a knockdown. The crowd here is now rallying around Bob Thurman because there is a Polish contingent directly behind us rooting for Merrick. And now you're seeing a little bit of national pride come out as they want the American to win because he's one of their guys. Thurman bouncing around a little bit in his result. The crowd's pumping him up. You know, this would be one of the great comebacks of all time if Bob Thurman could somehow pull this off. Again, Mark Petrowski looking very fresh. Has knocked Thurman down twice and kicked him down twice. Another good right hand there. Staggered Thurman. He's hurt. Inside of 30 seconds is what Thurman has to weather here. As he gets hit again, Cecil Peoples pushes him aside into the wrong corner again and is going to now administer a standing eight count. Once again, Bob Thurman as we are under 10 seconds left here in round seven. And now Cecil Peoples has stopped this fight. 
Cecil Peoples has said that is enough. And Mark Piotrowski has now beaten the third ranked, well-respected fighter in this country. And you have to ask yourself, who is this guy? Well, I think you know, we all know who he is. He is definitely for real. And he's fighting under what his weight should be, he says. He's fighting at 170. He wanted to fight at 175. The only way he'd get Thurman to fight would be to fight at 170, which is okay since Thurman fights at you know, that weight or lighter. But he is absolutely, absolutely for real. He's somebody to really watch. I know he'd like to get a shot with Johnny Terrio. Well, and he very well may get that. We will come back for the official time right after this. Probably predetermined from the second round on as Marek Piotrowski has knocked out Bob Thunder Thurman here. Cecil People, the referee, stopping the fight in the seventh round. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Danny Valdivia, for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a knockout in 155 of round number seven, the new Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion, Marek Petrowski.